Hey everyone, it's Matthew Fieldhouse here, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about how to use a switch in GNS3. Okay, so you've got two options with GNS3, and these are workarounds because GNS3 can't emulate the Cisco Catalyst switches. That's because of the complex ASIC processes that are used inside these switches. The best we can do is try and emulate something that's very similar, similar to a switch. So, Option 1. Use the built-in GNS3 switch for simple tasks. If you see on the left hand side we've got a Ethernet switch. Now that's a built-in device that's part of GNS3 that's got nothing to do with the Cisco devices. I'll show you how that works. So what we'll do is remove the link here between router 1 and router 2. So if we just delete that. Now this switch is useful because it allows us to connect many routers together on the same broadcast domain. So we could put in a few of the routers here, and there we go. We'll just rename that to router 3. Okay, so then it's very simple. We right click on the switch, we click configure, and here we can do a very simple configuration. It's not exactly the best kind of switch emulation, but it gives us a basic kind of um, a basic functionality. So here we've got all the eight ports on the switch, a huge number, and the two things we can do is change the VLAN that it's assigned to. By default, we're in VLAN one, and are we using access dot one Q, as in is this a dot one Q trunk? or is it Q in Q, which means is this a, a double encapsulated trunk. So we'll just put them all on an access segment, click apply, OK, and then it's simply you take a fast Ethernet link from each of your routers into the switch, one, two, three. If we click on switch one in the topology summary on the right, we can see that each of the ports are connected to their corresponding routers. And that's it, you know, you've got your routers connected together. It's useful for when you're practicing things like OSPF and uh, you need to uh, check the DR, the BDR, the broadcasts and all that kind of stuff. So now let's move on to the second method, which is use the NM16 EtherSwitch module. Okay, so this is a module that actually slots into the back of the routers. If you look on Google and you'll be able to see exactly what the NM16 is. It's basically you've got the um, all the different slots on the back of the routers. You buy this and then you, you just slot it in. So we'll just get rid of some of the routers here to make it a bit more simple. We'll just practice with one. So we'll stop the router, we'll do configure, we'll go to R1 and then under the slots tab we can go to the slot 1 and NM-16 that means network network module, 16 ports, and it's an ether switch. Okay, now we'll start the router. So this module has basic commands where you can configure VLANs, VTP, and trunking, and you can actually change the ports between layer 2 and layer 3. So you can assign them IP addresses, or you can leave them at layer 2. And you can practice some of the commands again if you want to really understand the CCNA switching topics and the CCMP switching topics, you need to get your hands on some real switches. But for basic functionality, again, it's great. You go into enable mode and to configure VLANs on here, it's VLAN database. On real switches, you might be used to go into conf t, you type in the VLAN number but it doesn't work like that. This uses the older style configuration where you go into VLAN database configuration mode. Under there you've got different commands to perform VTP functions. So you can do VTP mode, uh, VTP server, or VTP client and so on. And you can also add VLANs, VLAN2, VLAN2 name and name them and so on. So you can see there you've got some good basic functionality from the switch and that's about as far as it goes really with the switching functionality of GNS3. So here's a good tip, go to gns3.net slash hardware hyphen emulated in there you'll see everything that 
these modules don't support and you know if you've got any topics there on your study list and you see it you need to say well I best get my hands on some um, some real switches if not maybe go to packetlife.net this guy's got a really cool free lab where you can sign up get some time on there he's got some layer 3 switches they're real switches so you can practice all the security switching commands on there and so on so if you like this video and you want to watch more click the link below this video and you can see more GNS video training I'd like to thank you for watching